as you know, Las Vegas Hills has formed the Graduate Medical um, Education Council, and that's obviously a very hot topic when you talk about any medical school in our community. Um, GME is a critical piece to recruiting and retaining um, physicians in our community. Uh, can you share your view on this important topic? Uh, I do think GME is utterly important. Obviously, uh, physicians will tend to stay where they did their advanced specializations and training. Mm -hmm. uh, in a community that offers a diverse array with quality mentors, I think we have a chance of really pick, cherry picking the best and the brightest, not just from a medical program here at UNLV or from Reno, uh, but also from medical programs all around the country. Again, who wouldn't want to come mm -hmm. to Vegas? But we have to have a concerted community effort to provide real strong leadership, whether it's in uh, oncology or whether it's in neurodegenerative diseases or whether it's in another uh, suite of areas. We need as a community to commit to bringing in the talent that will provide that mentorship to students so that they are attracted. So we must grow the GME enterprise. It must be thoughtful and strategic. We need to leverage the existing high quality resources that are here and we need to make sure that they're all connected to the new medical school so that we have a continuity of opinion and um, educational opportunity. So really this needs to be a community-wide effort. It certainly does. And I don't think a public medical school, even attached to UNLV as the public university of the region, can thrive without a strong community backing it. And what I see in the last year is that the support for a medical school and at, uh, Las Vegas becoming a medical innovation hub and a hub for wellness and medical tourism ha is at a fever pitch. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a vision and I believe that this vision will not fade and I think it will help shape the future of this medical program. Mm -hmm.